I'll take that. Oh, just barely managed to get that kill. Find those boxes there, look. <laughs> just gotta wait for him to peek. Don't call me Tomo Cruz for nothing. Boom. Oh, that was a triple kill. I'll drive. I've missed this gun. <laughs> oh, I forgot that was blocked off in ground wall. No, not the riot shield. Of course, that's how I die. Verdansk is looking gorgeous as always. Let's do this. Someone threw a snapshot grenade. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, they both hit their shots. Not that the HDR wouldn't have killed me regardless. I'll leave him to capture C. I'm rocking the X50 today. Oh no. Stuck me in the face. <laughs> oh no, I just became part of the furniture. Anyway, guys, welcome back to Modern Warfare 2019. It's been a minute, but you know, I want to see how this game was doing in 2024. Where are you going? almost five years old now, this game. How crazy is that? Where does the time go? I swear, the pandemic completely ruined my perception of time. I want to go for that helicopter. No, you don't. That's mine. Oh, I was tempted to run that person over. Squishing people in the helis was so fun back in the day. Oh, wow. This feels so responsive. They completely ruined helicopters in Modern Warfare 2 and then 3. They felt so sluggish by comparison. Here we go. <laughs> Never gets old. It's another one of those roof look. Someone's trying to lock me with a missile. Oh, freaking chimney in the way. <laughs> oh, God, I missed this, dude. I'm about to blow up. Woo! God, look how fast you can send the helicopters of people, too. So good. There he is. Oh, I could hear him from here. That's crazy. Below me. Ugh. Damn it. Got my cruise missile at least. I should swap out the kill streaks for specialist, really. Although I'm not getting a nuke today, let's be honest. I feel so rusty coming back to this game. I've not even played a COD game in a couple months. I'm trying to take this helicopter out. Come on. Wait, what? Securing Charlie. I killed the heli, but not the person, I guess. Who was that guy? There he is. Oh, no. oh, it was a different dude. Oh, look, we defcon them. Captured every flag, so we get a tactical nuke. That was such a crazy system. 
really sets the enemy team into panic mode, so they have to capture a flag before their entire team gets nuked. Can't see anything. White Phosphorus in this game was like top pick for a lot of people, wasn't it? Still the LA again. Jeez. So smoky. And the visuals, the audio, the gunplay, and just the general vibe of this game was so good. It still is. All this time later, like, there's a dedicated community of people that still play this game. Hello, Chopper Gunner. Goodbye, Chopper Gunner. I'm about to get hit by that missile. I don't think my flare's going to save me. Time to ditch it. Boom. <laughs> the javelin just hit it afterwards. Gotcha. Oh, just listen to the sound design in this game. So much more immersive than anything we've got recently. Cold War, Modern Warfare 2 and 3. I think Vanguard was okay, but... It's another Sledgehammer game, and I don't think they have the best audio department. That's ours. Yeah, what is it about this game for you guys that makes it so special? I think it does what it says on the tin, being a modern warfare game. It just, like, as a genre, I think they made a really good modern era shooter game. Sorry, dude. <laughs> just one guy on his own in his spawn. Ow! I barely even peeked. I was using the Rytek. What a gun. That thing was insane when it first got added. The explosive rounds. Oh. Goodbye. Cheers, you slag. <laughs> the dialogue in this game as well is so good. Nice. Let's clear this building. Filthy rose skin. Assist your team at B. More steps here. Activate my dead silence. Cruise missile, How many bullets before that connected? What the? F Let's get this cruise missile in. Still love that animation. Ooh, a three-piece. I figured I'd just get the one guy there. Yeah, I think we had too many, like, World War II games before Modern Warfare 2019 came out, so... The launch of this game was so refreshing. It felt strange going back to World War II with Vanguard only a couple years after this game launched, you know? That was an airlock. All right, we'll take that dub. Let's play another one. That was a good little warm-up. Back on quarry. It was crazy when this game launched, because we all thought this was just a map that was made for ground war. <laughs> but yeah. Most of the ground war maps are based in Verdansk. Swoop over and grab that heli. Let's go, team. You really just gonna stand there, Maverick? You really are, Tom Cruise. What kind of stunt you pulling off? Ah. I forgot he had to jump out in order to kill the helis in this game. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, you can't just fly into them because then you'll be the one to die and they don't. So weird. <laughs> nice work, teammate. Secure the D. Jump on this quad. Or not. 
no Maverick. Just lined up for him. Man, this game still looks so good, doesn't it? Like, genuinely competes with Modern Warfare 3. Let's go on that tank. There's also much less ridiculous looking skins running around all over the place. I think this game had like a firm foot in the ground when it came to that modern military aesthetic. How did that miss? That first one, it like it went straight through his face. Yeah, it was only when they had, like, the Cold War integration and... Oh, God. Okay. I guess I'm dead. As I was saying, it's only when they had the Cold War integration and the more playful games that, you know, they had these weird-looking skins running around all over the place. Which you could buy for Modern Warfare in the store. Because it was connected to Warzone. And most of those updates just apply to the base game. There it is. How did that miss? I'm dead. That flinch is ridiculous. Wow, just beam me with a kilo. Another great gun. Oh. Couldn't pen him through the floor there. How many of them are in here? Teammates upstairs. On the roof. We're taking Charlie. Yeah, I see this white phosphorus is out again. If you're using thermal sights, this was a dream. God, the growl is just so good. I miss Verdansk, man. Look at this. That guy's shadow just gave him up. <laughs> yeah, rumor is they're going to bring Verdansk back with Modern Warfare 3 Warzone. Is it going to be as we remember, though? Okay. He's got a tank, and there's no way I'm surviving that. These things were busted. It's like a free kill streak if you can start the game off in one of those. So insanely powerful. No. That's another enemy. I thought it was a teammate. Oh my god. They're so good. I'm using my Predator missile against him. It's the only way. I will have my revenge. Kaboom. Let's do a snapshot grenade in there, look. Hello. Okay, goodbye. F me, I guess. Just beamed me with the M13. So many nostalgic guns. Yeah, I think the Warzone updates were kind of a detriment to the normal multiplayer in this game. I think any core multiplayer fans would agree that all the Warzone changes kind of bled into the multiplayer and messed up a lot of things or, you know, they just didn't get as much content because of the fact that Warzone was such a success that the development team just shifted to making Warzone the best it could be. And then uh, multiplayer kind of fell by the wayside. Hello. <laughs> we laid him out as a guy there. Javelin? What a ghillie suit with a javelin. Seems counterintuitive, no? It's like, here I am. Oh. White phosphorus again, look. Everyone's using it. Okay. Go on my left somewhere. All right, hit me with an RPG. Let's see the kill cam. Right. Well, that was very helpful. <laughs> it always would focus the the vehicle and play the kill cam from your perspective, not theirs. 
see this sniper tower still as popular as ever. For that reason. Oh, yeah. I hear a hunter drone. Sounded painful. I'm surprised that guy didn't move. <laughs> Suck it like a man. Capture an A. Got no one over there. Now we've got a Harrier to worry about. I'm getting shot from the cliffside somewhere. Jeez. Here, marker. Here we go. Boom. Oh, I'm always one off the Harrier, aren't I? What even killed me there? A javelin. A freaking javelin. Yeah, the one-year release cycle of these Call of Duty games is uh, it's growing old for me now, to be honest. I was really looking forward to Modern Warfare 2 being a two-year cycle, but then obviously the game didn't really hit, so beyond being a massive financial success, the player base didn't really gel with it, so I moved all of the planned content for Modern Warfare 2 over to Modern Warfare 3, which is why that game got all of the old Modern Warfare 2 maps and not Modern Warfare 2 itself, which would make more sense. But you know, that's how it goes. Sorry, Farah. <laughs> oh no, I got sniped. At least I got the kill. Just watching me from a distance. That's hilarious. Betrayal. 141 task member. Takes down one of his own. <laughs> Do not trust Simon Ghost Riley. I just watched him gut Farah on the rooftop. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm hitting the snipes. I am hitting the snipes. Enemy UAV no, so is he. Bloody hell, it's both of us back to back. Ah, down there were you. Yeah, I wanted more of this game. Hopefully they learn from their mistakes because... Oh, thread the needle there. I hate the COD cycle where we, we actually get a good game and then they abandon it after a year. And you look at these other Battle Royale titles and they're still going strong with continuous updates. Whereas the new version of Warzone just feels like they've been playing catch up this whole time. It's like that with Call of Duty every year though, isn't it? They take like several steps back to take one step forward. Oh, he's behind me. Bloody Rytek explosive rounds. That poor guy just spawned on me to instantly die. Oh no. I'm about to lose this game. Yeah, these games are so big now as well that we can't afford to have all these different card tiles installed. Like this, just for me to install the multiplayer was like 120 gigabytes. Just multiplayer alone. 367 meters, let's go. Yeah, so they fold us into a subscription service at this point with how big the games are. And then the older games lose 90% of their player base when a new game comes out. I just got dunked on by a Predator missile for the final kill. <laughs> yeah, this is like a top three Call of Duty game for me. And then Warzone launched and... Had some great times there. So much nostalgia, so many memories. Modern Warfare 2019, what a game.